Hey everybody, it's me and my partner Jody. <laughs> we came out to... Uh... <laughs> Thanks Jody. Welcome to uh, Monkey Invasion 1, my channel. And uh, we're out here at the Black Diamond Cemetery again today. We've been out here several times. Um, we're hoping Miss Jody's okay because every time we come out here, her energy gets zapped by who knows what. So just saying there's always potential for that we're not we're hoping that that's not gonna happen today we got uh, spirit box we got some cat balls I might even break out the SB7 we're just gonna walk around and uh, probably turn on the necrophonic see if it starts yakking at us and we'll just go from there all right I'm gonna turn the camera around so y'all can see uh, weather's fairly decent today so at least it's not raining and it's not too cold we're going to fire up the necrophonic as we're walking through here. Um, I even got my, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> I've got so many freaking gadgets, kids. My, <laughs> I can't think of it. Ridiculous. At a loss for words. But anyways, yeah, this uh, particular cemetery is known to be haunted. It, um... Uh, a lot of the coal miners, there was two coal mining disasters here, and there's a lot of uh, coal miners that are that are buried here in this cemetery. And uh, there's been known to be disembodied voices, um, uh, ghost lanterns, and this is kind of crazy too, I don't know how I don't know if it's just an old wives tale or uh, just somebody made it up, but supposedly a headless horseman of all, <laughs> of all things, or at least a ghost on a ghostly horse and a ghost on horseback. But we'll see. But yeah, these are like super old, old old graves, and there's a certain spot up here um, on the little roadway here. Uh, it's about 20, 30 feet up this road, and Miss Jody always gets her energy zapped, so. And she's a little nervous about that, because, you know, it's not fun. It's not fun. It takes her about an hour and a half to feel normal again once we, once we leave this place, so. But yeah, this uh, Black Diamond Cemetery, it's in the middle of, a, of a, a neighborhood. As you can hear, somebody's cutting wood and things like that. Uh, we've been out here at night the one I've been out here twice at night uh, the one time we came out here and it was uh, Halloween and it was really wild because there was I don't have the footage anymore but there was orbs flying around and spirit box was going off and making relevant answers and stuff but anyways we're gonna fire up the old uh, necrophonic here and see what we hear Hello, spirits. We come to pay our respects today. Say hello. Anybody here that wants to communicate today? Do you have anything to say? Can you say? Can you say hello or? Are there any coal miners here that would like to say hello? Or have anything to say in general? Yeah, Miss Jody wandered off down here, down into this lower part by herself one day. And I stayed up here up top and uh, 
she didn't look good when she came up the hill and I said, are you all right? And she's like, I just like don't have any energy. So yeah, that's happened a couple times here. Some screaming kids in the neighborhood, as you can hear. Anybody want to talk to me today? Want to say hello? Can you tell me your name, maybe? Yeah, a lot of these graves are really old kids. We're talking 1800s. You can see they're pretty well weathered. Um, a lot of these headstones. There's a grave of a little boy over here. His name's Billy. And people always leave him, <coughs> excuse me, leave him uh, little toys and coins and things like that. Okay. Trying to see if I can find the grave. I think it's, it's one of these over here. Not sure. Last time I was here, it was just in the dark, so. I'm not positive where his grave is. Oh, this might be it over here. Yeah. This is little Billy's grave. Pretty sure. Hey Billy, are you resting in peace? Are you, are you comfortable? There's a few children's graves here. A couple ones here. But yeah, people leave coins and things and <clears throat> you resting in peace, little Billy? Little Billy's pretty quiet. So I got my uh, EMF meter. That's what I couldn't think of earlier. <laughs> See if anything lights up. If it happens to light up near somebody's grave here, I will uh, start asking questions. So far, I haven't seen anything light up. So. There are some, uh, a lot of ghost hunters have been out here and actually had mapped the place out. Um, I have to go online and see if I can find it. As it is, there's documented, it's been documented before by other YouTubers, I think. Uh, 
I personally haven't really got anything, you know, too earth shattering. This tree's been here for a long time. Big fat tree. So I'm gonna take a little seat on this bench here. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking about uh, firing up my SB7. Just cause I haven't used it in a while. But uh, the necrophonics, it always yaks. <laughs> it's always yakking. So I'm gonna give me a second. Dig in my bag here. I bought my bag of tricks today. All my ghost hunting equipment in here, my cat balls, my uh SP7. All my good ghost hunting ditties. We'll let the necker find yak in the background. I'm still keeping an eye on my uh EMF meter though. So you never know. I even have my REM pod today. I don't know if I'm going to fire that thing up or not. But it's always a possibility. Got so many gadgets in this bag. Oh, I do have my digital voice recorder too. I forgot I had that. I might have to do that. Sure. SB7 is almost out of the bag here. Let you guys look at that. Alright, so. I don't have a tripod anymore. <laughs> long, long story to that. Um, no, I think I think I got it now. Um, yeah, my tripod. Last time I went ghost hunting up in Franklin, the ghost yeah. town, I went off trail. Ended up not being able to find the trail, going through the brush, and losing my tripod in the brush. Yeah. So, so we're gonna shut off, Mister Microphone. Oh, it's working fine. I just want to do the SB7, see if we can see if it does any better or if we can get some more clear answers because the the necrophonic does they it's you know it's an app so they they throw in some noises that are you know make it, the app a little bit more exciting although the thing is pretty accurate Ooh, the wind's picking up it was supposed to be windy out here today anyway so we were just fortunate to get the calm time that we had. See if, you, see if that thing's turned on for me. We'll see. The arms right here, and then we gotta turn the, on the bottom. One of these. Those wings are on. I'm assuming there's a car back here. Don't know my own equipment, kids. <laughs> there we go. There we go. And sweep, yeah. sweep, forward, forward, sweep. Forward, sweep. There we go. Is the volume up all the way? I don't know. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> 
Do I just keep holding this? No, you can, you can hand it to me. You can hold it if you want. No, no, no. I meant the button. Oh, no, no, <laughs> I no. I never worked this before. Oh, no. <laughs> Miss Jody doesn't know. Give the rookie half the instructions, people. There you go. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready. I think so. I'm, I'm fine holding you it. Fine I hold just it? didn't know how to get the button. You, get the, just make sure. I, you didn't tell me. Okay, Sorry. just make sure the volume's all the way up. Well, how do I go in the back? Oh, here. There you go. Maxim. All right. Okay. Oh, it's got a volume button on here, too. Because oh, <laughs> I can barely hear that thing. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. <laughs> it's a team effort, ghost hunting, sometimes. I'm assuming that's maximum that you've shot me? Yeah. It's probably okay, maxed out. I may have bought it, but I don't know what it's <laughs> This is true. So, is there anybody nearby that wants to say, anybody nearby that wants to say hello? Sorry, kid. Sweet oh. reverse? I want to make it go faster. Sweet break. I don't want to go faster. That's slow. There we go. You want to grab that? Let me slow it down a little bit. There we go. Oh, that sounds familiar. I heard that noise. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I heard it on TV. Yeah, Alright, so let's just start. Uh... We're gonna walk around. Really? That would be weird if it starts calling your name. Or starts talking to you. Okay. All right, let's let's go over to one of like the older ones, maybe. And then we can ask some questions and see. Okay. All right, kids, so we're going to go over here. Some of the old... All right, we'll just hang out here for a second. Anybody that wants to say hello today or tell me your name? Is it peaceful here for you? Do you have anything you want to say today? Any message?
here. Not really hearing a whole lot. Of course, if we find a talkative uh, one, might get some more answers. <laughs> We'll go over this way. We're just here to pay our respects today and see if anybody's interested in talking. Can you say hello at all? a few things but it's mainly like from radio stations. Yeah. Who's this one? Did we stop and look at this one before? I don't think we stopped at this one before. What's her name? Amelia? Amelia, do you want to talk to us today? Say hello? We're not bugging you, are we? Is it peace is it peaceful here? I heard Amelia say anything or not. Okay, well we're gonna go check something. We'll go check around here. See if somebody wants to say something. What did that say? That was weird. It sounded like a commercial. Yeah, it did. I hope that was a commercial. Baby. I saw her. I thought I heard baby earlier. Really? January to April, 1920. Wow. Anybody tell me hello today? Or say leave if you don't want us to bug you? Yeah, yeah, nobody's saying anything.
That dog always barks. Yes. Oh, no wonder. He's right there. That's probably your any noise of the puppy. Yeah. We'll just walk away from the puppy. Huh. It's a pup. Yes, it did. Very cool. Yep, a puppy barking at us. Yeah. Wow. That October 1909, Mr. Thomas, can you say hello? Baby grapes are so sad. Yeah. I saw a set of twins over there. One died in, at six months and the other one died at eight. Dang. That could be hard. Right? really getting a whole lot except for the pup thing. That was pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that one up there in the corner, yeah. over that way, that one's known to, for people to get activity or answer. Look at this one. Oh, wow. Margaret, these two don't have names on them that I can see. Probably all worn off. Yeah. All right. Let's get away from here then. <laughs> Take that as a sign. Anybody want to say hello? Can you tell me your name or your last name? Nope. Nobody wants to talk. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and turn that bad boy off. Yeah. People get tired of, tired of hearing that. 
turn it off on the back side. There we go. Very good. Here we go. That guy. Mm -hmm. So far, kids, other than uh, when the dog was barking at us. There we go. We really didn't. Uh, I'll have to go back and listen and see if we heard anything, but sometimes we get lucky and get stuff. Yeah, probably later. Oh yeah. Oh, definitely. Make it a point of coming back again sometime at night. Hey, you don't want to come back? You're saying? <laughs> no, I don't know if I want to stick around in black diamond all day. No. Yeah, we should probably go. We, uh, not really getting much today. No, not, not a whole... not here. Not a whole lot of stuff is going on. Yeah, I think they're sleeping. They're getting ready for tonight. <laughs> they come out later. They do come out later. They, they are active after We've, uh, yeah. I need to go sleep there. We've been here before, so... Alright, Miss Jay needs to go take a little rest, so I'm going to go with her. And I hope you guys just enjoyed this little explore around here i monkey invasion one and um yeah maybe there'll be another video out here for you guys just to, just kind of showed you today around black diamond cemetery if you've never been out here in the washington state um we're at a little town of black diamond so all right i'm gonna say goodbye for now and thanks for watching all right goodbye